what could be behind door number one? Probably a bunch of teenage chicks who have nothing but attitude. It's been a while since you guys have been on uh, the YouTube. And you're nothing but ornery. I'm actually honestly, oh well, yeah, look, look at here. Partially filled up. Filled up with wood chips. You guys just, ah. Uh, I don't know what to do with y'all. I was going to make videos about y'all as chicks. And you're already like teenagers. Already grown up. We got our Bard Rocks, Rhode Island Reds. These turned out to be Delawares. I didn't want any Delawares. That door is really creaking loud. I didn't want any Delawares. But uh, I thought they were all Salmon Favorels. But they apparently had some Delawares mixed in. I didn't know what color the chicks were supposed to be. So I got two Delawares. One might be a rooster. And I heard Delaware roosters are not friendly. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Pretty sure uh, that one right there is a rooster. Salmon Favorel, But we'll find out eventually. Uh, the comb is just a lot bigger than the others. And it's a lot more red. So, oh yeah, we're pretty flighty. So we got some Rhode Island Reds. The Cinnamon Queens might be the little bit lighter ones. I'm not really sure. Um, but then we have, like I said, our Barred Rocks. So these are all of our uh, layer chicks. They actually could probably go outside soon. They're pretty well feathered out. But I'm just waiting a little bit longer. It's been in like the 40s the past couple nights. And uh, it's uh, still a little bit too cold for them. I have the heater plate here for them. They really don't spend much time underneath of it unless it gets really cold. Every time I come out, they're all spread out over the place. But uh, they're enjoying tearing around in here, making an absolute mess out of everything. But, yeah, I'll show you what the, the plan is here in a couple weeks, maybe a week or so, to get them outside. But first, you're not supposed to yeah, You better get off of there. Go. Look what they've done. The absolute mess. But we have some other chickens here. Lo and behold, there's actually 37 chicks in here, but you would never know it. They're all underneath. You can see, <laughs> you can see their little heads popping out from underneath the... Uh, of course focus on the wire instead out from underneath the brooder heater i got another one and these there's actually 30 meat chickens here cornish cross wow they have decim decimated the food and um, there are some red sex like in there too you can see one on the feeder right here what do you all think you're doing this is what they do when i turn my back Get back in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get back in. Go, 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 go. See what I'm talking about teenagers? They don't listen. They do whatever they want. So, yeah, we got chicks brooding. And I got those red sex link because I wanted some more layer chicks. Because, ah, it's sharp and full of crap. We're going to be having our geese here soon. So, let's talk about that in a minute. All right, I hope I'm bright enough. I can't tell. It's bright out here. And I say bright enough, I mean like I had to bring my exposure down. We'll find out. But uh, so yeah, chicks are all brooding in here. Quail are doing somewhat okay. I actually had two of them uh, die on me. Not sure what the deal was there. Um, checked them this morning, gave them their food, collected eggs, and there was two dead in there, a male and a female. They did not look like they were injured. There was no blood anywhere in the hutch. So they might have just died just because... I really have no idea. And then, let's head on over here. So I'll share some pictures. I don't think I actually made the video about this because this happened a while ago. But I had a chick, chicken get injured, like big time injured. And so we had winds that were like 60 mile per hour. It was blowing crazy. The chicken tractor actually lifted up and rotated 90 degrees. And one of my chickens got kind of caught underneath of it. I was surprised it was just one. Um, the lighting is just going to fight me this whole time with the sun and the clouds. Um, it was just one. But she got caught underneath. I know, you went out. I'm going to get you out here. She got caught underneath. Easy, easy, easy. You're making this not great and easy on me. <laughs> she got caught underneath. Her legs are fine now. She was limping a little bit, but her legs are fine. But the chickens were picking on her. You can see her head is was pretty much scalped. She had a big bloody scab on the top of it. Well, I'm glad I wasn't holding you up to me because you uh you done pooped and it was not pleasant. 
Yeah, goodness. So she had a big um, bloody like scab on the top of her head from the chickens picking on her when she was laying there. And yeah, I wasn't sure how she was gonna fare. Her one eye was all scabbed shut and I was kind of concerned about her. And she has been in quarantine for about, well, it might be about a month, but you can see her head, uh, the feathers are starting to grow back. Um, they're really short, but that was completely bald before. I did have her in with the other chickens the other uh, week and um, they were picking on her, I think, because I had her out here for like 10 minutes. To, well, maybe it was like 20 or 30. Then I came back and she ran up to the fence, like, please get me out of here. So yeah, she's not ready to go back just yet, but hopefully sometime soon. So here's the chicken tractor, but also here is a chickshaw. This was not here last time you saw any type of videos from me. If you follow me on Instagram, I should say us, uh, me and Summer, we both post the Instagram page on Miller's Homestead. You got your butt up against that electric fence. You're glad I have it turned off or else you'd be squawking big time. These chickens. Um, you would see progress that we've made here on the chickshaw and the fact that we have our electric netting up. This is Premier One electric fencing. I have a solar energizer. I keep this on during the day and night. Keeps predators out, dogs, cats, coyotes. Um, probably would not withstand a bear, but we're gonna make a separate video talking about predators. Um, but yeah, I just moved them into the chickshaw a couple days ago. Just moved this whole situation here. Come with me. You can tell where they were before. All this area here. It's not like down to bare. It's pretty short. There's clover and grass grown in here, but they've like, you can see clearly where they've been. They've chewed it down. I don't know if the chew is the right word. Dug it up, kind of flattened it out because it was a little bumpy in here. And so I actually went ahead and made this wider. I did have it um, four sections long by two or five sections long by two wide. I decided to make it wider because if they get on top of this, which I've seen them do, they could easily fly out. They probably still could easily fly out, but it's a little bit more of a deterrent. But yeah, just moved them today. I'm telling you, this chick shaw, so much easier to manage and deal with than the chicken tractor. The chicken tractor serves its purpose, and we'll talk about that a little bit here in a second. But this chick shaw is much more suited for laying hens. I always go through the corners just because it's a lot easier. Just take the corner down, pull it up, throw it down, and you can just walk right over. It took me a couple days to figure it out. I was trying to take out middle sections. I got caught in the electric fencing, ripped two pairs of pants. It just, yeah, we won't talk about that anymore. So here we go. Chickshaw has some room in there for them to roost. They can access the nest boxes that are in the back. Um, there's four of them, and there is a dust bath in there if they want to get in there and roll around. The dust bath, um, one inch wire mesh, so most of the crap falls through. Um, there's a couple of piles there. Don't be picking up my foot. <laughs> there's a couple of piles there that uh, will eventually work itself through. Y'all not like me, like being here in your area? You're really not happy about something. So this lid comes up let's bring so you can see this lid is hooked here on each side you can unhook it lift the lid up prop it up if you need to get in there to work for something um, nice handle situation uh, where you can pick it up and walk this is right up, um, below my knee like I have to bend down to pick it up when I stand up straight it's off the ground so it's easy to move um, nice big wheels. They don't go flat. I can't remember what the exact term is. I, y'all, I don't have nothing for you. Actually, I do. I forgot it over at the quail hutch, but I don't have anything right now. I'm sorry. So these will pull out. They're a little bit tight right now. And then there should be eggs in there. There's no eggs in that one. That was a bad example. Come on, girls. Here we go. They seem to favor different nest boxes. And then, uh, they lay the eggs and I have not had nearly the amount of dirty eggs that I had. Like these are eggs are completely clean. I haven't had nearly the amount of dirty eggs that I had before with the chicken tractor. Um, now that chicken tractor was made for meat chickens. That was its design. And I kind of just fabbed it out to work to add a nest box in the back. It's all messed up because we were dragging it around. But um, I plan to put the meat chickens in here and then what I want to do, I have this one electric fence. 
So this kit from Premier One, it was like 490 bucks or something. Solar energizer, electric fence, the four post, um, and then a fence tester. So you can buy the just this fence by itself. Um, so what I'm gonna do is buy another fence by itself, hook it to this fence, because you can hook the fences together. Um, there's ways to do it. You can just wrap them together and then um, there's like little electrical clamps you can put together. Run them together so it's one bigger electrical fence, but I'll run it in such a way that I put the border, this will be a divider in between the two chickens. And then I'll start the other one off the side and go around. That way there's two, I guess, paddocks of chickens running side by side the same direction. Meat chickens on one side, laying chickens on the other side off of one solar energizer. And then the meat chickens will be in the chicken tractor, which will be on this side. So I can run them side by side. And I have geese coming this week, two goslings. And so one gosling will go with the chickens in the chicken tractor. One gosling will go with the um, laying hens. There's a rooster over across the road. Hopefully he doesn't get crazy and decide to make his way over here or fly around. Um, I don't know how that's going to go with the electric fence between the two geese. I might have to keep the two geese together because I could see them wanting to get to each other since they're both two geese getting caught in the electric fence, hurting themselves. So I might have to keep the geese together, but they should still watch out for the chickens somewhat because they're going to be brooding with them. And there's not like they can, those two can just go roam by themselves the whole way on the other side of the field. They're still going to be with the chickens. So they should be still somewhat wary of what's going on. And so that is the plan for these chickens. Me chickens in the chicken tractor, laying hens all in here. I can fit up to like 39 hens in here. That's without a goose, so with a goose, 36, 35. Um, I have 15 that are supposed to be, hopefully, all hens in there, but I probably have one or two roosters. Um, so and then we have seven more roosters brooding with the meat chickens. The geese will go in there. Everybody will become one big happy family until the meat chickens have to go to their ultimate destination. Um, we're not going to do that here. There's actually a local butcher who um, a lot of people take their stuff to. We got our chicks through the Farm Bureau who got them from Meyer Hatchery. I think it's Meyer, Myers or Meyer. It's in PA. And um, then we're getting butchered by a local butcher. And uh, we're just not set up to do that here this year. We'll see how it goes raising them. We might do another round here after we get through this initial round of chicks uh, and chickens. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. I got 30 chickens, some for us, some from, for a couple family members. And if we have any extra, maybe we'll see if anybody wants to buy chickens. So uh, that's kind of the update. Did I seriously forget to open up, up that water so you guys can drink? I did. Can I do this without... Let's see if I can do this without screwing it up. I'm sorry, birds. Well, you good thing you had water in there from when I... Oh, I did it. You had water in there from when I filled it up, huh? I didn't have this in here at first. I had it separate, just sitting out here in the field. But I thought to myself, why not make use of the things that you have? This could be extra shelter from predators. I can put their feet in there for now so it's out of the weather. Because um, I figure out, I gotta figure out how I wanna feed them with this setup. I need to measure out their feed and allocate it. That way it's not wasted. Um, yeah, you all are digging and having the time of your lives. And uh, yeah, it was just sitting out here, so I figured I might as well use it, put it in here, predator protection. Um, and so far, I'm really happy with this fencing. Um, we've had some decent winds here, and it's stayed up. Um, it's holding its charge. You know, I've had no issues with the Energizer. And so far, loving the Chickshaw. Super easy to move compared to this chicken tractor, even though I guarantee you this is heavier. Um, and yeah, so far, so good. Everything's going pretty smooth. So that's kind of the chicken update. Hopefully you all enjoyed. This video might have ran a little bit longer than anticipated, but uh, chickens are loving life. They're digging and scratching. The one in quarantine should be getting back to normal here in a few weeks. But that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos from us, and check out our Instagram or Miller's Homestead. The links are all down in the description below. Thanks again so much for watching. If you see, if we'll see you guys, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Are you finding something good down there? 
Maybe.